Okay, so if you have not already done so, download GeoGebra. You can download that from Mac or PC or even <clears throat> for iPhone and Android. Now I'm going to show you how to construct a segment in GeoGebra. It's relatively simple. You want to make sure that your perspective is set to basic geometry. Once you set your perspective to basic geometry, we're also going to want an additional feature that is the ability to measure distance and length but that sometimes isn't in the toolbar here and so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to insert this in the toolbar. If you do happen to see this little icon however in the toolbar you're all set. So to put this into the toolbar what we're going to do is we're going to go to options settings and let's see here close window tools I'm sorry tools customize toolbar now on the right hand side you would look for this right hand right here distance or length and you would say insert and it would push it over to the left and then you can control where its location is by choosing up and down keys and so that's all it takes to apply this right here all right, so I've got a me uh, segment AB with a subsegment AC in between. Look what happens when I move C. The measure of the distance from A to C changes and B to C changes. That makes perfect sense. Now, if I want C to the, be the midpoint, that means I have to have the measure of AC equal to the measure of BC in order for C to be a bisecting point. And so that would be 3.11, which is half of 6.22. Okay, let me show you how to make a segment. Select the segment icon, click, and you can go any angle you want. I'm going to try and make it a straight horizontal line as best as I can. All right, so now I have segment DE. Now if I want to measure DE, I click on the icon here. I let that highlight and I click once. And there it is, DE is 7.83. Select the arrow icon, I can move that to my heart's content. Now I'm going to add a point onto DE. I'm going to put it close to E. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure EF. And so EF is 1.48. And notice what happens when I move point F. EF increases. So that means that DF has to be whatever number supplements 3.08 to get 7.83. And that's how you can build and measure segments in GeoGebra. God bless you, wherever you are today.